the last time we talked about Berlin and today we are going to be talking about Hamburg yeah Hamburg Hamburg is a home to over dozens institution of higher education for around 96,300 students more than 10,700 of whom come from abroad I must also tell you that there is also a comprehensive range of international renowned research facilities attracting staffs and faculty from across the globe, whether social science, engineering, economics and law, or arts, music and design. What's with more than 500 study programs in Hamburg, there is something for everyone who wants to study in this beautiful city. Let me also tell you that in Hamburg, there are both public or private institutions. The good thing is that the Hamburg University also offer English program for all international students. So this is Hamburg for you. You know what? My name is Akiri Ebolua. Let's just jump into it. Why I show you some beautiful things about Hamburg. Study in Hamburg, top university, cost of living, and seven interesting things you need to know about Hamburg. Let's jump into it. So, you know, as I do, I bring you the top universities in Hamburg right now. I'm going to be listing three universities um, in this category, three universities, and on the description, I'm also going to be putting some other interesting university which, um, which you can also study your international program you know i talked about just international program for international students yeah so that is what i'm going to be doing so let's look at the top three um university in Hamburg right now permit me to look down because i need to read from my laptop so so top university in Hamburg. so number one the first one on my list is the university of Hamburg. the university of Hamburg. it's also called uhh yeah um uhh is the largest um university in Hamburg and offer over 170 programs that is interesting it's the largest and it offers 107 over 170 programs um this university was actually founded in 1919 um rank number seven in Germany and this university um enrolls up to 35,000 or to 39,000 students yeah they they enrolled 30 35,000 to 39 students so their study areas as you know what you are really much concerned about on um, is if they are of a bachelor master's and phd program but good thing they offer all these programs they offer bachelor programs um masters and phd programs so what fields do they have they have uh, art and normality they have business and social science language and cultural science uh, and cultural medicine and health yeah engineering and science and technology so they offer all these fields both in masters in bsc and also um phd program so what other interesting things can you find is in in this university because you don't want to go to a university that doesn't have good facilities and services so this was um this program as um this university i must say as um a library they have housing that's hostess for students um they have sports facilities for those of you that love sports and love to visit the gym or like play some football basketball um they have financial aid for those for people that need them and they have study abroad program which is the main reason i'm doing this video so as an international student from every part of the world you can actually study in this program they also have distance learning so some online courses also in which you can in case you don't want to move from your country um to come to Hamburg. but why don't you want to come to Hamburg? it's a very beautiful city which is why you need to stick to the end of this video i'm going to be telling you some interesting thing i think i actually listed seven of them yeah seven interesting things you should know about um but so this um university also have um an institutional hospital so you can get your treatment in this university so i'm going to be linking the um this university on the description below as you know i'm going to be linking them so you can actually click on the link to see for yourself why you should study in this university and i also made other research for you this is what's interesting so i look i try to look at the programs they have right now if you can actually um if you can actually apply for any program so i can so i find some interesting programs i'm going to put a link um to the programs they have right now in which you can actually apply for um they are paid ones they are 
non-payments as you know most university in germany they have tuition free and so i'm going to be linking that there are also private they are public ones so i'm, I'm just going to put a link so just look for yourself and yeah look the one that suits you the one that offers the program you want and the one that we really give you the best and as you know if you have any question you can always um drop it in the comment section you can just, or chat me on any of the social media platform at i am the LH on um, twitter or on instagram official underscore the or yeah anywhere on linkedin anyway you can find me at akiri so just say, chat me on all those platforms and i'm going to be replying your questions so the second university on the list is um hamburg university of technology hamburg university of technology um this particular university is not actually a big university i'm not just going to be bringing you um most of the biggest university but this particular university is not that big but they are on this list because of the good stuff they offer they don't also offer much programs but <clears throat> this university is just, is just meant for some specific kind of people so i'm putting it on the list because they have um good offer so this university can only take up to six thousand to seven thousand people i told this is not a very big university and it was founded in 1973 and this university is actually ranked um 63 in germany i think a thousand whatever a thousand two hundred in the world but 63 in germany um their study areas is not that big also that's why i said it's meant for some categories not for everybody yeah so they offer just programs in bachelor's and masters i try to see if they have um, some phd program and i find out that they don't really have phd program maybe they are going to update that but for now um as i'm making this video um they just have like um bachelor's and master program and for their master program is basically on computer computer science and engineering program so any of your engineering program matching about um your computer science program informatics and so they have this program so all other humanities cultural whatever you can't find them in this university that's why i said this university is meant for some group of people not for everyone so you need to look where before you start making that your application so for their master program it's also the same fit computer science and engineering programs all your programs have to do with computer science engineering um that's what you find in this university so it's not meant for everyone it's not meant for everyone if you want to study linguistic you are not supposed to be applying to this university or if you want to study medicine you are not supposed to be applying to this particular university but it's really simple as i have also done a little bit of research for you so i went ahead to get all the programs they are actually offering right now so for those of you that want the um the summer semester or the winter semester or next year summer and winter semester so i already got the programs which you can apply for right now because this university is not really big so if you want to apply to them if you want to start it there you really have to start your application on time i told you they take up to six thousand to seventy thousand students so you just need to be um you need to up your game for you to for you to get uh this to get into this university i'm going to put a link to the university right in this description so you have nothing to worry about and for the courses in which they have right now both paid free public and private um you know most public schools uh they are tuition free for private school you tend to pay a lot of money yeah 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 so get that in mind so i'm going to be linking that in the description so don't worry about anything you get the information in the description and the link to the website so if you're just joining again um, my name is akiri Ebunduwa. as you know this introduction thing uh i drop um videos on study in germany and you can go through my past videos yeah and you see you see something for you there's something for everyone there's something for everyone always drop your questions and before i go to the last um to the last video um or to the last university which i'm going to be talking about which is is third on the list but it's really kind of interesting but it's actually third on the list but it's i think it's for me is the most interesting yeah but it's third on the list um don't forget to to hit the subscribe button yeah for you to show your support yeah which i will be glad you do so let's go to the third one the third one the third university or the ladies hamburg university of applied science this university um, i must say um is um this city is split up into four locations in the city so it's not just in one location it's split into four locations in the city of hamburg yeah 
So many people say this university is a city university. That's just because uh, it's split up up on different parts of the city. So campus Berlina Tor is the main campus and home to the Faculty of Engineering and Computer Science and the Faculty of Business and Social um, Social Sciences. The faculty are uh, have their own library. So every faculty in this university have their own library, their labs, their computer rooms, um, all on their own platform yeah the campus has a cafeteria i'm just saying this yeah you want to eat and different cafes as well as all of residents directly on campus um so that is it they have all these things right in their own faculty so this university was actually founded in 1970 and this university is ranked 67 67 67 yeah in germany and of course, it's not really that big or so, but it, they enrolls um, 10,000 to 14,000. Let me say 15,000 students. Yeah. So you really have to up your game if you want to get into this university. So they, their study areas are bachelor's and master program. Yeah. Bachelor's and master program. And they have faiths in art and humanities, business and social science, medicine and health, engineering, engineering science and technology so those are the fields in which you find so any any of the courses that is related to any of these fields i said engineering science and technology medicine and health um social sciences um art and humanity um you will get there in this university so they have good facilities also they have libraries they have sports facilities they have study abroad program for all international students which is the main reason i'm doing this video because it's for the international student i'm an international student myself and they have distant learning um the link as you know, it's going to be on the description for this particular video. So you can look them up and yeah, when you have any question about your application, you can just write me up. And also this is an extra research, just like the just like the other ones. So the program in which they are offering right now is on the list, is on the list. Um, everything is there, you see the programs. I'm gonna put a link to all the programs in which they have right now, which you can apply to so yeah just get ready for that so the next phase of after mentioning all this university another thing you want to know is the cost of living in the city of hamburg because hamburg is a big city and it's kind of expensive to live in hamburg so your cost of living for your rent for your shopping and whatever like you need and you might be spending up to 700 to 900 euros per month um in hamburg 700 to 900 euros and as you know every university always have this um contribution they have this contribution they have so and this contribution in hamburg is like 300 in that of berlin i said it was 250 but in hamburg is 300 yeah yeah it's 300 but the good thing is as a student you can also work and study at the same time which you can use these things um these things can help you to to raise money and just keep something for yourself so you can work and study um, in hamburg so that is not an issue yeah so going to the last part of this video going to the last part of this video have you started your application um you want to study Germany? have you started your application do you have questions write me and i'm going to be replying all your questions before i make the next video any questions you have i'm going to be replying all of them um, so if you have any difficulty, I've heard some people I'm saying there's a difficulty right now getting visa, especially those from Nigeria. I got some couple of questions from um, from those of them saying they are not getting their visa even after the, uh, they got their um, their application that the school already accepted them. It's just for them to get their visa. They have an issue where I'm, I've been trying to make my research on this also, and I went to the website and I see that there is no there's no information right there that they are not giving um visa to students so you just need to um keep applying and you see what i'm so you jump to the last video should i jump to the last part of this video okay before i do that uh don't forget to hit the subscribe button again you know as we do it yeah then the last interesting thing about this video is seven things you need to know before you move to hamburg before you decide to study in hamburg these seven things are really important so Hamburg is the second largest city in Germany and has a population of um, 2 million people. When you compare this to Lagos, um, this is this is like little yeah, compared to um, the people that live in Lagos, just Lagos. 
alone. So this this is a state on its own. That's why Hamburg is thought a city state or state city or whatever. This is a state on 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 its own. Um yeah. So two million people, yeah, is the largest. Um Hamburg is a, is both a German city and a German state. So and like I said before, it's a city state or state city the way they call it. Um city state as it is known and it, and it has its own local government and state parliament so that's the second interesting things you need to know about Hamburg. um the standard greeting in Hamburg is moi so like you go on the street and people say to you moi or they say moi moi like someone saying good morning like something like that but it's like moi 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 no if i say moi moi that's a food in nigeria right moi that's the um their way of greeting um the first modern zoo was founded in Hamburg in 1907 the first modern zoo was founded in Hamburg in 1907 um so another interesting thing is that despite not being located in North Sea yeah there are seven islands in Hamburg so if you're a lover of nature you love photography just like me yeah you love to just go outside walk in the park so there are seven good islands I would have mentioned the name of those islands but I don't want to make this video go too long you know you guys don't like long videos so there are seven islands in Hamburg, which is places where you can really chill and really have a good time. Um, Hamburg is one of the most expensive city in Germany. Like I said before, when I mentioned the cost of the tourists from 700 to 900, even in Berlin, in Berlin, you can almost spend 600 per month as a student for both this. So as a student, you need to be careful about that. Like you really need to, yeah, if you really have the money to, to go through this, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it's one of the most expensive. Um, it, it has so this is the last interesting thing in which you need to do with 2,500 bridges. 2,500 bridges. Hamburg has the most bridges in all of Europe and more bridges than Amsterdam. So, 2,500 bridges all in Hamburg. So, you should get ready for that so so those are the seven interesting things you need to know about Ambo. don't forget when you get to Ambo, when you want to greet someone just say moi okay yeah so i said i'm going to mention um other universities in which you can study in um in Ambo. yeah so other university you have the medical school Hamburg. you have the brand university of applied science yeah you have um iss international business school of service management ABC Oxford Ambo, as you know, I always save the best for the last. The one that is really much more interesting to me is AMD Academy of Fashion and Design. I'm a design student myself, so this university I go for. So those are all the other university in which you can study. I actually mentioned three university. Hell yeah, yeah. I'm going to quickly rush through them. I say University of Hamburg as number one. Hamburg University of Technology as number two. And the last one was Hamburg University of Applied Science. So if you wish to study in Hamburg and you're thinking about it, yeah, you have your questions, just send those questions to me and we are going to go through it together and find a solution to you. So I've come to the end of this video. And as you know, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe button, and to share this video with your friends and family. And as you know, before I go, I always leave you with a word. You know, the good thing in life is whatsoever we lay our hands on we can always achieve them as long as we have the determination to go for it there might be obstacles there might be problems along the way but um determination is key to success so while you are doing your application there might be struggles there might be obstacles but be determined that you are going to get there so it's not just that when you get to abroad or you start studying abroad things become so big for you no with your determination you can also achieve more so I'll leave you with that and I'm going to see you in the next video. Don't forget to remain Akiri Ebunluwa and peace and have a blessed day.